Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a metallic tin can mock-up in Photoshop. I've added the link to the can image in the description below so you can download it and practice along. Let's get started. First of all, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the front surface of the can, this is where we'll place our design. Choose any fill color you like and set the stroke to none. Once your rectangle is in place, right-click on its layer in the Layers panel and choose Convert to Smart Object. This step is crucial because it will allow you to insert and edit your design non-destructively. Rename the Smart Object layer to Place Design here to keep things organized. Now, reduce the opacity of the Smart Object layer so you can see the can image underneath. With the Smart Object layer still selected, press Ctrl plus T to enter Free Transform Mode. Right-click inside the transform box and select Warp. This will allow you to bend and mold the rectangle to match the curved surface of the can. Take your time and carefully drag the control points so the edges of the rectangle follow the natural curves and perspective of the can. Adjust the mesh handles as needed to keep the design balanced and aligned with the lighting and perspective of the original can. The goal is to make it look like the label is wrapped around the can realistically. Once you're satisfied with how everything lines up, Press Enter to confirm the transformation. Now go back to the Layers panel and reset the opacity of the Smart Object layer to 100%. Now turn off the visibility of the Smart Object layer we created earlier. Then, select the Quick Selection tool, click on the background layer, and carefully make a selection of the can, but leave out the lid and the lower part. Once your selection is ready, turn the Smart Object visibility back on. With the Smart Object layer selected, Press Ctrl plus G to group it. Now drag the smart object into the group. Select the group folder and click the layer mask icon to mask the label to the selected part of the can. Next, double click the smart object thumbnail to add your design. Go to File Place Embedded, select your design file, and press Enter to place it. Save and close the smart object window. Now change the blending mode of the Smart Object layer to Linear Burn to blend the design with the can's natural highlights and textures. Now let's customize the background. First, turn off the visibility of the group. Use the Quick Selection tool again on the background layer and make a selection of the entire can this time. Once selected, add a solid color adjustment layer above the background layer. Choose any color you like and click OK. Then, Click on the mask of the solid color layer and press Ctrl plus I to invert the mask, this hides the can and only applies the color to the background. Turn the Smart Object Group visibility back on. To change the background color later, simply double-click on the solid color layer, choose a new color, and click OK. Also, set the blending mode of this background color layer to Linear Burn for a smoother blend. Next, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the background layer. Right-click on the duplicated layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Drag this Smart Object above the Smart Object layer inside the group. Then go to Filter Camera Raw Filter. In the Camera Raw window, slightly reduce the exposure and increase the whites to enhance contrast and make highlights pop. Click OK to apply the filter. Now, set the blending mode of this duplicated layer to screen and reduce its fill to make the lighting more realistic without losing texture. And that's it, your metallic tin can mock-up is ready. You can now insert any label design and customize the background easily. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more Photoshop tutorials every week.